What's going on everybody? This is Gary and Marcy with Dixie Overland and we are heading to Callaway Gardens to the Pumpkin Festival. Yay pumpkins! So where we're going is a place called Callaway Gardens and it's in Pine Mountain, Georgia. Uh, now they're famous for doing things like Fantasy and Lights, uh, which is a big light show and festival that goes on up there every single year around Christmas. So uh, this is the first year I've actually heard of the Pumpkin Festival, to be honest. Um, what do you think it's gonna be like? I think it's going to be pretty cool. I've seen some of the pictures and it kind of looks like Fantasy and Lights where you walk through these different scenes and everything like that and it's showing whoops, and it's showing uh, the um, uh, uh, different ways that they can arrange pumpkins and all this other stuff. It's really artsy. Uh, so we're going to go up there. It's about 20 bucks a person to get in so it's not bad. Um, it's a good little day trip, you know, something new on a Sunday for us. And you get day passes to Callaway Gardens, which also has Robin Lake, and they have the Cecil Day Butterfly Center. And that should be cool. I've actually, you know, it's funny, I've been to the Butterfly Center once or twice. I took the kids whenever they were little. All right, so we left the house, and we are now in Callaway Gardens, which is in Pine Mountain, Georgia. I'm uh, sorry for the shaky cam on this, if y'all are seeing some shaky camness. Uh, you know, this mount that I have in here, which I may do a review on, isn't, uh, you know, holding up to what I thought it would actually do, especially when it comes to recording. Anyway, so we're up here. Babe, what are we doing? Pumpkin Festival. We are doing the Pumpkin Festival. And what are we doing first? first, butterflies. Yes. So, it was like a bonus. We got up here and we saw signs that said Butterfly Festival. Now, I knew that the Cecil Day Butterfly Center was here. That's right. However, we thought that it closed at five because that's what it says online. And it is now 4.35. So we thought that we had missed the butterflies or that we were only gonna have a few minutes to, to spend at the butterflies. But they don't close until six. So right. full butterfly time. And then we will pop over and see the magical world of pumpkins and mums and maybe they have pumpkin spice. Oh, I'm sure they've got pumpkin spice something. Cookies yes. Or I don't know. This is the ultimate we'll being basic. We'll see. <laughs> We're gonna see how this basic day goes. What do you think whenever I told you we were gonna go? the pumpkin festival did you think i was like totally basic oh super basic super basic super basic it's okay. but honestly it's like stuff like this you know again you got to get out you got to go do you got to go see and this is in our backyard it was only about 45 minutes or so from our house and so you know why not we come up here to callaway gardens all the time for you know fantasy and lights we come up here for you know sometimes you can just you know hike and there's a, a golf course out here. There's a lake. They've made a beach out here. It's actually really nice, and it's just beautiful out here, and it's a gorgeous day today. So, uh, you know, we're up here doing that. We're going to take some footage from inside the Butterfly Center, uh, so we're going to show you what all that is like. So stay tuned. We are here at the Day Butterfly Center here at Callaway Gardens, and we're about to go inside the part where they have all the butterflies. And if you could imagine it being just a natural large terrarium that they're in and they're just flying around everywhere it's hot it's humid in there should be pretty cool i've been in there a few times but i haven't been in several years so i'm really looking forward to seeing this again and seeing maybe this change with it so anyway come on with us for the journey inside there
not a sign you see every day. So what'd you think, babe? Was that pretty cool or what? I thought it was amazing. Um, there were tons of butterflies, all sorts of different colors from all around the world. There's actually a sign that talks about why they're in the conservatory and it talks about how it prevents the butterflies that are not native to this area that are in there from mixing with the butterflies that are native to this area and the transmission of disease. One of the coolest things was being able to actually see the butterfly come out of the cocoon. Yeah, that was really cool, wasn't mm -hmm. it? It's like, you always read about it, but I mean, how often do you actually see that like occur in nature? It's like extremely rare. If you've caught it, then God bless you, and that's really cool, but that's actually a, a rare thing to see. Yeah. So we're going to include uh, the information for this place down in the description, so if you feel so inclined, to come out here, see it, check it out, or check it out on the web, maybe Absolutely. even donate to it, uh, then we're gonna leave that information down here. All right, so I think the pumpkin festival is next. We pumpkin should probably go check that good. out. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> This is a random picture of gourds. You're welcome.
All right, so that's it for the pumpkins at Callaway uh, here at Callaway Gardens in Pine Mountain, Georgia. Marcy, what did you think of it? I thought it was fabulous. I thought it was a great way to spend Sunday afternoon. Um, the the price was great. The yeah. the actual pumpkins were very cool. They had um, moving parts and they did a lot with video. Um, it was overall worth the price of admission. Yeah, absolutely. I couldn't agree more. I mean, you can see this, you know, pumpkin structure right over the top of my shoulder, and then this is sort of like the main concession area here. It was it was really cool. It was a lot more than what I expected. I actually thought it was going to be like okay, some people decorated some pumpkins, kind of like a some gingerbread house thing, right. you know. And I was like, all right, yeah, we'll go. It's it's cool. It's a, it's a day away. You know, we'll try it out and we'll see. This actually really raised my expectations. And the cool thing was being able to walk through those woods, having all those lights, the effects, the music, everything. Now, sadly, we can't put the music in. Just know it may have been from a Tim Burton movie, you know, regarding Halloween. Uh, you know, so that's what it is. But I'll put some music over the top of it so uh, you won't be left out on that. Yeah, and it was also neat to have the day pass available for Callaway Gardens. So we could walk mm. through the Azalea exhibit, we could go to the Butterfly, we could that's go right. to yeah. Robin Lake. We actually walked through the hotel and had dinner there at mm. a, a really good restaurant. That's good. Yeah. yeah. All in all, a great day out. A great day out to be able to just, you know, stay local you know spend a couple of dollars locally so you're supporting your local economy you're supporting local people and these type of events thrive when people go to them especially people in those communities That's so right. you know the more that you get out and the more you do this then you know the more these types of things will happen um well i'll tell you what uh we've got to drive home uh you and know go to work tomorrow. and go to work tomorrow <laughs> gonna be good that's not too bad It'll be fine. I think Marcy's going to drive anyway, so that's just going to be a thing. <laughs> so, all right. Well, uh, with that being said, this is Gary. And Marcy. From Dixie Overland. We'll see you all down the road.